As it's me, it's Queen Osset Haru, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. All right, guys. So I was talking to an Aquarius guy the other day, and he told me he had a theory for me. So I'm always interested to hear people's theories, especially when they are about Aquarius. So he told me he had a theory about Aquarius. He said that he thinks that Aquarius need to give up on love. And I was like, what? <laughs> Why would we do that? And he said that he thinks that as a sign, too many of us believe in love and that we need to give up on the concept of love because it is something that in his opinion isn't real something from fairy tales is what he was telling me and i'm listening like uh-huh now the whole time i'm listening to him i know for a fact he got a messed up story somebody done broke his heart somebody done done something to him i could tell anytime a person comes to me and makes a statement anything near this way and it happens often I know is somebody who's either been repeatedly hurt or hurt really bad. So I was just listening to him like, okay. So then he said, well, what do you think? And I said, I think you've been hurt really bad. And he bust out laughing. And he was like, well, how did you get that from what I said? And I'm like, because you were hurt. Makes sense. And now you want to find a way not to hurt anymore. Not to hurt again. And I was like, you're not unique. <laughs> I think I and maybe half of the planet, if not the whole planet, has thought this before. Maybe it's not real. I should just give up on love. I should give up on romance. I'm never going to find nobody. I have heard this so many times from so many different people from so many different walks of life. So I knew immediately that that is what had happened to him. And I told him, I said, look. Number one, love is real. When you are a small child, you love your parents. You recognize this probably pretty early. If you can think back, think back to when you were little. Most of us will remember loving our parents or our guardians or somebody that was around us, maybe a sibling. But most of us will remember loving someone. And not because somebody told us to or taught us to love them. Nobody ever teaches you that. Nobody taught me to love my mother. I don't remember anybody saying to me, this is your mother and you have to love her. <laughs> you know, I remember having feelings like, oh, it's mommy. It was a feeling. It wasn't something that I was taught. It was something I felt from being around her. And I felt it for other people too. So we can't just say, oh, love is just something that poets made up. Because if it was, you would never actually generically, authentically feel it for anyone. It just wouldn't be a thing. But because it is a thing, and it's not a thing that you're taught, it means that it's something that organically happens in a person's spirit. So... When somebody says to me, you know, let's just give up on it. That's my first response. So then he said, okay, what about romantic love? What if I just want to give up on romantic love? Is that a negative thing? And I said, no. If you want to give up on romantic love, and lots of people do, that is your prerogative. And he said, but what do you think about it? And I said, I think it's a mistake. I think that instead of giving up, see, I will never give up on love of the platonic kind of the romantic kind. I will never give up on it because I believe in it. So I'm never going to give up on it, first of all. And second of all, because I know a little secret, <laughs> something I learned from the secret, you attract things. And you accept things into your life. But just because you attracted a person who cheated on you, a person who didn't stay with you, a person who left you, you might have attracted that vibration your whole lifespan. So what? It doesn't mean you have to always attract that vibration. The one thing I'm clear on, and this is where we ended it, 
the one thing I'm clear on is that you attract to you the people that you deal with, romantically speaking, and in other ways as well. But in this case, he was talking specifically about romance. You attract the people to you that you deal with romantically, number one. So if you attract a person that's not a good person, that means something's going on with your vibration. You attract how you're vibrating. So everybody vibrates on a different frequency. So whatever frequency you're vibrating on attracts those kinds of people, deceptive people, cheaters, people that are unfaithful, whatever it is that you're not liking and you're attracting. You are drawing those energies to you by how you're vibrating. So what I know is, is that if you don't like the kind of people that you're drawing to you, change your vibration. Another thing, change who you accept in your life. So just because you draw a lying, deceptive person doesn't mean you have to let them take up residence in your life. As soon as you figure out that that's who they are, as how they are, you can choose to believe them and kick them to the curb. So when he said to me he wants to, you know, give up on love and wants to, you know, totally leave it alone in Aquarius, you know, this is just, you know, our burden. We need to stop this. And I was like, nah, you need to change how you vibrate and what you accept into your life. That's what needs to change. So whatever is making you vibrate that you draw these kinds of people, it's got to be something in you. It's something about you. Soul search you. Do some introspection. That's where it starts inside of you. And then after you've done that and you see people, you know, coming down a pipeline, dates or whatever, romantic interests coming towards you, look and really pay attention and only allow in those people who are worthy of your time. Because, see, I'm, I'm very clear that a lot of people are seeing people who aren't worthy of their time. And you're clear on that, too. <laughs> if you're one of those people that's doing it, you're doing it. And you know that you're doing it. I said to a girl one day, uh, a woman, I said, uh, what are you doing? And she said, I'm just texting with this guy. And I said, oh, okay, is he nice? You know, thinking, you know, maybe it was some nice guy. And she said, no, I'm just wasting time. <laughs> and I was like, okay. And she was like, eh, no attention is better. She says, some attention is better than no attention. And I laughed because I was like, okay. <laughs> I knew exactly what she was trying to say. She was settling for wasting time with some dude. That she didn't want because some attention to her at that moment was better than no attention. So, like I said before, you know that you're doing it when you're doing it most of the time. Some of the times you might trick yourself, but most of the time we know when we're just wasting time with some dude or with some chick. You know? So, that's my recommendation. I recommend not to give up on love because, like I said... I hear this all day long. So I want to say it to you guys because I hear so many people and it's in a comment section. It's, you know, it's in people's conversations with me. It, I hear it all the time. They're like, I'm just not going to date. I'm just going to give up. I'm just not going to do it no more. And I'm, and to me, it's like, okay, you can do that. But I think it's sad. I think it's sad because there's a better answer. And you can get what you want. I think it's sad because, you know, some people are never going to meet a person that they love or can allow themselves to love because they've cut themselves off. They've told the law of attraction and the universe, I don't want a romantic partner. I don't want nothing. And I know people like this. I know people who were just like, nah, I'm good. I don't want nothing. And, and literally live this way. And I'm like, okay, I can see that there's safety in it, but I just think it's sad. I think it's sad to cut off the potential to love someone ever again. Even if you want to take a break or if you want to work on yourself or something like that, I think that's good. But to just write it off for the rest of your life, I think you're allowing whoever hurt you to rob you 
of a future with somebody who might be loving towards you. I'm not going to let my big bad wolves do that to me. I'm not going to let them rob me of that. Even though I'm not seeing anybody right now, I'm always going to stay open to it. I'm not going to let hurt and pain in the past rob me of my future. And when you say, I'm never going to love anymore, I'm never going to date anymore, I'm never going to let nobody in, that's what you do. You let your Voldemort, you let your big bad wolves take your future from you. And haven't we let them take enough from us already? I'm not letting them take nothing else from me. And I suggest you don't either. All right, guys, it's time for me to get going. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and pass it on to someone else who has sworn off of love for the rest of their life and tell them I said, mm, give it a second thought. Love deserves it. <laughs> so if you want to get a um, reading done, please email me and I will give you a reading uh, appointment. If you would like to hit me up on um, social media, I'll leave all that underneath here. I'll leave my Patreon in case you would like to become one of my patrons. And I have some very exciting things about to happen on Patreon, as a matter of fact. So you might want to jump on that now. Okay, guys. See you later.